Now I'm sure that if you've modded Fallout New Vegas, you've heard of a massive gameplay mod called Project Nevada. Well, unfortunately, it's quite outdated and there's some people that may still be using it because they don't know it's obsolete. So that's why today we're going to be looking at some mods that will add in the main draws of Project Nevada into your game. And we'll be starting things off in Doc Mitchell's house with the Cyberware 2281 mod, which is a standalone version of the Cyberware plugin for Project Nevada, so after picking up the implant and being given the quest, we can start the hunt for a doctor and install these new upgrades to our bodies. Before that though, notice how good these fences look, and it's from a recently released mod called High Quality Picket Fences that will retexture the white fences that look kinda shit even in the vanilla game. These new fences are a massive improvement over the originals, and as they're quite literally the first thing you see in the Mojave, I definitely suggest you pick this texture mod up. Anyways, back to Cyberware where we can visit the New Vegas Medical Clinic to install a variety of new implants, which can range from scanners that will analyse an enemy or an EMP that you can fire from your arm. Unfortunately though, so as this is standalone, all of the cybernetics that were integrated with the Project Nevada features have had their functionality tweaked, although there's still those cybernetics that will give you buffs to your special skills. Thankfully though we can add it back with the mod Cyberjam, which builds upon the framework created by Cyberware and adds in some new cybernetics as well as tweaking some old ones to integrate them with the features from Jam. For example, you can install cybernetics that will increase the time dilation from Jam's bullet time, there's also implants that will increase your sprint speed and some others as well. The bullet time Cyberware is particularly cool as there's several different versions, some of which may cause the implant to overheat and you'll have to visit a doctor in game to get it surgically removed. But another main draw of Project Nevada was its visor overlay, which we can add into your game with the helmet overlay mod, which will add in different overlays to your screen depending on the headwear you have equipped, and this is pretty cool as the overlays are also influenced by lights such as your pit boy and will also receive visible damage depending on the durability of your helmet. Now lastly but definitely not least is a mod that I'd kind of hope you'd already have installed and that we've already mentioned in this video. And that's none other than just to sort in mods or jam. Jam is a collection of several mods in a single ESP that will add things such as the quick loop mechanic from Fallout 4, sprinting, bullet time and several other features and that go a great way of enhancing the gameplay of Fallout New Vegas and honestly I consider this mod to be essential if we're going to be playing Fallout New Vegas in 2023. All the mods mentioned will be linked below in the description as well as the Viva New Vegas guide as they have a full list of mods that will add in some of the other features from Project Nevada that I haven't covered here such as the loot rebalancing. But anyways that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time.